verse of the week for April 25th, 2021, brings us into a brand new category for grasp. And our subtitle for this category is Roles of the Church. And today, we're going to be basing our emphasis off of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. I'll read it again. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. This week's verse, as well as next week's verse, are part of what is deemed to be Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Matthew chapters 5 through 7 is a record of this message, and all of these teachings of Jesus therein are part of one setting. The placement of today's verse immediately following what is known as the Beatitudes is intentional and masterful. The Beatitudes speak of Christian character and the blessings that true Christianity brings upon the disciple of Jesus Christ. Verse 13, however, reveals that Christian character also impacts those with whom the disciple interacts. Jesus compared Christian character to salt. Salt is a change agent. Whatever it comes in contact with, there is a chemical reaction that alters the other item. Salt seasons bland food, preserves perishables, melts ice, and corrodes metals, and so on. The evidence of its presence is its effect on other things. Although salt is not always visible to the naked eye, its effect will always eventually be made manifest. So it is true with a disciple. True Christian character comes from the hidden man of the heart. It is not visible to the eye, yet the real Christian will always create a change in the environment of human relations. What makes Christians a force is they are different by the grace of God. They think differently. They talk differently. Their goals are eternal rather than temporal. They are controlled by the Holy Spirit producing the fruit of the Spirit in their lives rather than the works of the flesh that dominates those who have not been born again. As Galatians 5, 24 and 25 states, they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let me give you an example James chapter 3 and verse 8 states the fact that the tongue is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. And he further said that no man can tame it. With this principle in mind, let's go to the workplace of the Christian, where he goes every day to work side by side with unregenerate people who have no filters on what words come out of their mouths. They're unrestrained in their cursing and vile off-color talk. Gossip and backbiting are the order of the day. And now it's break time. Some go outside while others go to the designated break room area. Vulgarity and unrestrained words ordinarily would dominate that time. But the Christian enters the room. Cursing dies down. Topics of conversation 
cease. Gossiping and backbiting fade away. A peacemaker has entered the room. Like salt, unseen but effective. Don't allow the world to corrupt your Christian character with its pollutions. You will lose your difference. And if you are not different, you will lose your effectiveness. Our song today, in relation to Matthew 5.13, is higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I'm onward bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. And specifically this verse, I want to live above the world, though Satan's darts at me are hurled, for faith has caught the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. Lord, lift me up, let me stand on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I am grateful today that you have cleansed my heart from sin and filled me with your spirit. Indeed, the day that I was born again, it completely changed my life and I have never been the same and I praise you for it. But Lord, I would like the change that you made in my life to have a positive influence in the lives of others. Lord, not only to see good works and the fruit of character in my life and of the spirit working in me, but Lord, I wanted to change men so that they can come into a relationship with you and receive the same experience that I've received. Lord, let me be a witness. Let me be salt. In Jesus' name.